Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys my opinion on the top 10 video transitions in DaVinci Resolve 14. So all of these transitions are available straight out of the box, and we'll talk about each one a little bit. So first off is the Blur Dissolve. It blurs out the image as it switches over to the second image and then unblurs itself. As you can see, as the effect progresses, it's going to blur out the screen, making it very hard to tell what's actually occurring in the background. And as the effect completes, it starts to fade back into focus, but the shot has already changed to the second scene. Next is the Band Wipe. This effect has bars of the second shot come into the screen, as the first shot is overridden, and by this time it completes, all that's remaining is the second shot. So let's just play that one back one more time. Next up is the clock wipe. This, by default, will have it start at the 12 o'clock position, and it will start going around clockwise, just like a wall clock would, until the second shot has completely overridden the first shot. So let's play this one. Next up is the cross dissolve. This is actually the default uh, transition that you can add by left clicking on the border between any clip, right clicking and then choosing cross dissolve. Cross dissolve is actually the default transition where if you left click on any clip and you right click it'll give you the option to add in a cross dissolve. The reason for that is it's just a very common fade from one clip to the other but because it's a smooth transition it makes a sense to use it in a lot of different cases and that's why they have it for the default. So let's just go ahead and play that back. So Cross Dissolve can be used with just about any two shots without any real problems. Next up is Dip to Color Dissolve. Now, what this will do is basically fade to the color and then fade back into the second shot. By default, it's white, but I generally set it to black colors like this. So if you want to change the color on a clip, or really if you want to adjust any property on one of these effects, you left click on the transition, you go over to the inspector, and you should see the name of the transition effect, and you can change attributes such as the color. So I almost always go black instead of white. I'm not sure why they default it to white, but whatever color you want, you can dissolve to that color and then fade back in to the second uh, clip. Next up is the eye iris transition. This will have the second clip fade in with the eyeball shape. It's very, very similar to the oval iris, except an eye shape I think is a little bit more interesting. So let's just go ahead and play it back here. So I like this transition just because it's an interesting shape. Next up is push or slide. Really, these are the same transitions, and you'll notice they give you two different effects for them. But honestly, if you click on the transition, you can see that you can change presets for pushing left, right, up, or down. So you can actually get the same visual effect regardless of if you're using push or slide. The difference is that the directions are reversed. So if you're pushing left, that's the same as if you're sliding right. And that's why I'm combining these two in the same name here. So let's go ahead and play this back. So you see the second clip is pushed into the right as the original clip is pushed out of the scene. So at the end, the first clip is completely off screen and the second clip has and the second clip has been transitioned into. So the slider push is a really common transition you can use. Next up is smooth cut. Now smooth cut is one of the few transitions where it actually takes quite a bit of GPU processing power. So we can't really play it back in real time here. But instead I'll uh, go to some different frames and show you how it transitions. So the idea is that you have things happening in the second shot and things happening in the first shot. So it'll try to kind of morph the first shot into the second shot as well as possible so that it doesn't look so much like you did a hard cut, but rather it's more churning into the second shot. So we can try to kind of play it back here a little bit. And hopefully you can kind of see what's happening. Like these people, their size and the frame, it kind of adjusts itself as the second frame fades in and then the second shot can continue playing. So it's just a very interesting transition you can play around with if that interests you. Next up is Triangle Left. So this is kind of pulling a page out of older movies like Star Wars, where the screen peels from the top left to the bottom right. Uh, some people might say it's a little bit cheesy, but I think it's kind of a cool effect. In a way, it's a lot like having slide or push, except with an angle. And that brings us to the last one, Edge Wipe which is actually quite similar to Triangle Left, except that with Edge Wipe, it defaults bottom to top, but it has the ability to change the angle inside of the inspector, which I would say gives it an edge over Triangle Left, because instead of having one 
direction you can do it at, you can change the angle to whatever you want, and instead have it transition from any side or any corner into the side you want. So if you want top right to bottom left, that's fine. If you want it somewhere in between top to bottom and top right to bottom left, you can have that as well. Really, having the angle as an option here gives you full control over where it's going to start and where it's going to end. So edge wipe is really cool. But you can use things like triangle left or triangle right if you already know which corners you want and you don't need to customize the angle. So that's going to be it for the top 10 transitions inside of DaVinci Resolve 14. As you can see, they have a lot more out of the box that you can play around with. If you want to check them out, just go to the effects tab while you're in edit mode and you'll be able to see the video transitions there. So I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.